Victorian Elliot, a 22-year-old pregnant woman, succumbed to injuries sustained in a motor vehicle crash along the Winston Jones Highway near Mandeville on Sunday night. Police reports are that about 7.30 p.m., the Toyota Crown motor car in which Elliot and two men were traveling was hit by another car that did not stop. We have gathered here together. Jibin, 
As you have demonstrated in your, your numbers, in memory of Torian Elliot. Not only will we honor her in death, but we will remember her life. Our loved one would not want us to be unruly or to express our sadness in an inappropriate way. But she would want us to send her off in a service that is fitting of people who respect each other's each other's right to grieve and to participate in the service wholeheartedly. So we have come here to reflect on Torian's life and treasure her memory. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Let's bow our heads and look to God. God in heaven, we worship you. We lift you up your name as creator God. In you we live, move, and have our being. Indeed, you knew us from we were in our mother's womb. And you have appointed us unto each one of us a day when we will return to you. Lord, that day has come. That passed nearly three weeks ago. But we have come to honor Torian's memory. We thank you for her life. And we pray that your presence will be with us as we treasure her memory. As we give you thanks for lending her to us. Lord, we thank you. Take charge of this service, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Just before we get into our first hymn, just to let you know where the restrooms are. For the men, it is to my left, on this side of the church, your right, both of you, you go around the basic school and you will find the men's toilet. For the ladies, it is below the church, on my right hand side of the church, your left, on the parkway and just go below, below the church, you will find the female restroom. Let's all stand for the first hymn as I travel through this pilgrim land.
we invite Sister Carl Bonham to come and officially open prayer. Hallelujah! And then we'll have the first lesson right preceding it. Psalm 90, verses 1 to 12. Let us stand as we unite our hearts in power and look to the Almighty God. Please stand with me, brethren and friends. If you can stand, stand. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to Almighty God in power. Righteous God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God, here we are this afternoon. Father, this moment, we thank you for journey's mercies. We thank you that the casket was able to reach here. We thank you, God, for everybody that is present here this afternoon. Heavenly Father, here we are, starting our program. You are the divine leader. Yes. So Almighty God, we pray that you will lead God and let us follow. Yes. We pray for every person that will set foot up here to do an item or to offer a tribute, whether in song or whatever. We give everybody to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. We invite that your Holy Spirit Spirit God to be here this afternoon. We pray that you will dispatch your angels inside, outside, and around this environment. We pray that you will bound up what needs to be bound up. And we pray that you will lose what needs to be loose. Mighty God, we are looking to you because you have never ever failed us yet. The Holy Spirit, we pray now, divine God, take charge. Take charge, Holy Spirit. We put the family to you and everybody to you now. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We now have the first lesson. Psalm 19. Read by Lisa Elliot Fox. Yes. 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 Is that mine? No. I think this is that mine. Test it, test it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm asking you to please stand. Praise God. Our first lesson is taken from Psalms 90, and we'll read, I will read from verse 1 to 12. Here beginneth, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and said, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourishes and grow it up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spent our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three years and ten, and if by reason of strength they are four years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? If, 
sorry, who knoweth the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. 12 and ending. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Here ends a reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. We will now have the first of the three tributes. And we I invite each for us to come and stand behind this podium over here to give your your tribute. If you could limit your tribute to at least three minutes, that would be good. First, Knox Community College. Then Michaela Harris. Then Miss Julian Barrett from the community. graduation where she did the greetings her exact words and I quote most significant in event in a student life is none other than graduation and since it is and since it is a stage in our education that brings us a mixture of joy and pain joy for leaving and pain for saying goodbye 
We didn't know or, or even imagine this would be our final happy moments together. We had a fun time doing all these presentations with all these laughter, but of course, that didn't come across that we that would be the final for us to say goodbye. Torian was always seen as an icon of inspiration who had hoped gracefully to graduate and take her place in the classroom. She was a prospective teacher who was full of ideas and potential, of which she always spoke of completing her bachelor's on behalf of her late mother. I can remember clearly a few months ago when Tor messaged to her if I know if graduation will be held this year. And I replied, hopefully they will keep it. Then she said, me want march, you know, me work too hard. Me work too hard. Now it pains our heart to know that this wish would not be fulfilled, but we will probably complete this final level of the bachelors on your behalf. In closing, if tears could build a stairway and memories are laid, I would walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. No fear or words were spoken, no time to say goodbye. You were gone before I knew it, and only God knows why. My heart still aches with sadness, and secret tears still flow. What it meant to love you, no one can ever know. But, I, but now I know you want me to mourn for you no more. To remember all the happy times life still has in store. Since you will never be forgotten, I pledge to you today a hallowed place within my heart. It's where you will always stay. Very well, Tori, we love you. We love you. Michaela Harris, is she here? Good afternoon, everyone. I like to to my best friend in heaven. or hear from you again. 15 plus years spent with you feel like two days when I compare it to now. May the 8th was the day I realized that I had to take this crazy world without you by my side. That is a weird thing. One moment you could be talking and giggling and the next you're on your knees crying and you can't breathe. It's hard, it, it hits like a train, even though it takes forever to actually realize that the person who you were so close with is gone and they're never coming back. All I have now are memories of you, photos, a few videos just to hear your voice, and your Facebook and Instagram pages. That is all that is left of you. 
As a person, you left this earth for God knows what reason, but he took you away too soon. No sign in sight, nobody could have seen this coming. It is true what they say, the good die young. For what? No one will ever know the answer to that. I don't think you understand how much happiness you brought to so many people. You could light up any room you walked in and everybody knew you were no everybody knew you who you were. Nobody was a stranger to you either. You could walk up to someone and act like you knew them forever. Everyone was a friend to you. I know you visit me and give me signs, big or little, to tell me that you're okay. But I still can't I still catch myself at the most random of times hearing your infectious laugh and voice. Maybe it's your bright smile that lights my phone up when I don't have a notification coming through. Every said it Everyone said it gets easier, but I don't believe that in the slightest because 20 days later, I still fall to my knees and ask God, why her? Our friendship was unlike any other, and I will be forever grateful for that. You knew me better than I knew myself. It was, it, it was you who could send me a text or give me a call and brighten my day, no matter how dark I was feeling. You showed me how to look at life as a whole and not dwell on little things that could not matter in a few months. I will cherish our memories forever. The secrets, the, the secrets we shared and the laughs that lasted until our stomachs hurt. It was in those moments that I loved the life I was living simply because you were in it. We never let distance kept us apart. Every birthday and special occasion we shared, not always physical, not because it was a holiday, but because it wouldn't feel right to have it in any other way. You will always be with me in my heart, because a piece of my heart will always be reserved for you. I will live every day for you, because you are a part of me. I will be the person you made me and live in the memory of you. I will love you for eternity, my new guardian angel, and forever my best friend. We now have Mrs. Julian Barrett. Good afternoon everyone. I am Julian Barrett and I greet you well. I acknowledge the presence of the shepherd of this house, Pastor Dalkey Bennett, Pastor Simpson. I acknowledge the other ministers that are here, Overseer Barrett on the outside, all the ministers that are here in the house of the Lord. I acknowledge our political representatives, Mr. Azan and Mr. Williamson. I acknowledge the presence of the Knights family, the bereaved, the Elliots, the Martins family here today in this funeral service. I acknowledge the different churches gathered here today from everywhere. It's a sad occasion on which we're gathered here today. And I mean, we're dressed in lively colors and we're singing lively songs, but the grief is so heavy. It cannot be denied, it cannot be denied. There's so much pain in this room today. And I'm, I was asked to do this tribute on behalf of the, the community. I want to use this opportunity to offer sincere condolences to the families that are touched more than anybody else with this tragedy. The Knights family, as I said earlier, the Elliots and the Martins. Condolences to you. The community of Reaches grieves with you. And we are here. You see, we are out in our numbers today. And we're here to support you and to undergird you with purse. We have been undergirding you with purse. 
And we see that the prayers have been working, Sister Knight, because it is only in God's strength that we were able to dress up and come here today. God is with us. God is our strength. Praise the Lord. And we just give him thanks. We just give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Ah, I mentorian some years ago, and I'm speaking on behalf of the community, but my personal journey with Tori, and I met her through, I met her in the community, but I became more familiar with her through her mom. I'd known Shade years before, was close with Shade long before I became close to Tracy. It was when Tracy fell terminally ill and she reached out to me and we became so close. Praise God. I wasn't here when her funeral, but I wasn't able to attend because I was off the island. But I grieved and I prayed for the family. Praise the Lord. And through Tracy, I met Tori and I got to know her very well. She was a wonderful young woman, a bright prospect for this community, a bright prospect for our country. You know, she was such a brilliant young lady. Everywhere that young lady went, she brought such cheer. I mean, everyone in the room who knows her knows that she was very cheerful, very lively, very focused, very ambitious. Amen. And it's sad that, you know, she has gone, gone away from us so quickly, so quickly. But we are grateful for the years that we had her. And we are very proud of the strides that she has made over the short time that she has been with us. She has done very well. Praise the Lord. And I know she's not here, but I'm going to ask us to just applaud Torian today. And just give God thanks for her life and for what each of us have been able to experience. Having known Torian, you know. I have benefited from my relationship with her and I will never forget her. May her soul rest in peace, praise the Lord. You know, I, I also want to use this opportunity to encourage us who are here. As I said at the candlelight, let us not allow Torian's death to be in vain. It cannot be in vain. The Bible tells us, as we are all here in sorrow, as I said, we're a community in sorrow. Deep sorrow. Everything is tied up into one and it's just sorrow. But we have hope in God. The scripture tells us that there is a sorrow. In, in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10, it says there is a sorrow that God wants us to experience because the sorrow that is according to the will of God produces a repentance without regret leading to salvation. So as we are here and we all are in sorrow, I pray today that this sorrow will lead us all to repentance because God is there. In St. Matthew chapter 5, somewhere there he said, Blessed are they that mourn. Even in mourning, fear is a blessing. Because we shall be comforted. So don't, don't stay in your sorrow. Turn to God. He waits to comfort us. We're not going through what he has not gone through himself. Praise the Lord. So turn to God. He will comfort you. We are praying for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thanks for all those glowing tributes. We now have a selection from the Youth of Judah Missionary Church. Tori was a part of the Youth Fellowship. And I'm sure what the youth group, could you come forward please, what the youth group going to present, she would have been proud of.
how we have the Sunday school division of the youth. The Sunday school. Kimon. After the youth, then we'll have the second reading. Sophia Williams, could you stand by? Then we have the early childhood practitioners. With your selection, could you stand by as well? So we can move speedily along. Kimon. Torians. Trustworthy. Obedient. Reliable. Industrious, ambitious, and neat. She was part of our Sunday school class. Pastor Dalkeep Bennett taught sometimes and I also did the teaching as well. Some of her Sunday school mates are not here, but they have sent their children. Gone too soon. It wasn't long ago that you started primary school and you were Chin Chin's little sister. Over the years, you blossomed into a fine young lady. While combing your hair on occasions, we would talk about all the memories we shared at cadets, camps, daily vacation Bible school, and not to mention You've been my student for a little while. You are missed. Your Lord Thur was infectious and your warmth was pure. Dance on Tory. Sing on Tory. We miss you from Marshallee. Good afternoon, everyone. A letter to L. Dear L, I delayed writing this for as long as I could, mainly because you being gone never felt real. I felt like I was in a never ending nightmare and I was determined to wake up. Can't hide from reality anymore, though. You really are gone, and Lord knows I miss you. I am grateful though that even though your time here with us was cut short, I've had the privilege of being your friend. You always had a kind, encouraging word. You were the problem solver. I remember VBS days, we were always on the same team. I hated losing. For you, it didn't matter, as long as we did our best. You were the one who carried the load. You, were the never, you had the never-ending talent, and I was the one with the ideas. You never said no. If I wanted you to sing, you'd sing. If I wanted you to dance, you'd dance. If I wanted you to act, you'd act. If I wanted you to play the drum, whatever it took for, for us to earn points, you'd be involved. We were a dream team. You were always pretty determined. I loved seeing the fire in your eyes when you spoke about finishing school. You used to show me how you were going to walk in your heels when you started working. <laughs> you were so excited and positive that you would be the best teacher. And I'd always say, yes, Miss Elliot, all my children have to go to your school. Caring and loving is what you were. You would observe my face and know whenever I was in pain. And instantly, you'd be across the road finding pain tablets for me. Nothing was too good for me when it came on to you. You shared everything with me and you always seemed to know what I needed even before I knew. I could go on and on about the many times we've come through for each other and the many times you've motivated me to be the very best version of myself. Even in death, you're still teaching lessons, my love. I am learning to live life every day like it's my last and to cherish my friends. 
If I had known that the last time would have been the last time I saw you, I would have stayed a little longer. I would have hugged you a little tighter. Know what I'd do for one more day with you. There's not a day that goes by that I don't see you. You live on in the better part of me. You used to say I'm the mushy one. Kissing you, saying how much I love you. The last time I saw you though, I didn't say it. But I know you know I loved you to infinity and back. I will always cherish your memory, my forever friend. Love always your chemical. always smiling, always giving jokes, always giving commentary. <laughs> I was lucky enough to know her for probably 20 years of our lives and it was an absolute privilege to know her, to love her and be affected by her throughout the years. Tori and I were always chatting whether it was walking from school, sitting in church, or over the phone. And now I look back and I can't even remember what we used to talk about. We used to always send each other this quote. Having a cousin the same age as you is way better than friends. And it was the truest statement ever. <laughs> Torian was my sister, my confidant, my therapist, my <laughs> matchmaker, and my ride or die. She was the best. I know I didn't tell her enough, but I loved her. <laughs> and I knew, I know she knew that. There's honestly so much more to say, but there are just no words to express what Tori meant to me. Um, <laughs> the last time I saw Tori, she was literally glowing. She was positive, she was happy, and she was strong. And she inspired me to be strong, and that's how I will forever remember her. Um, I find comfort in the fact that she's with Auntie Tracy again and that God has a plan and we're just parts of that plan. I hope to see you one day again, Toria. Sleep in peace, buttercup, <laughs> love, blossom, slash free. I remember the church trips, daily vacation by the school, and other activities. I am still in disbelief. We always found time to reason about many things. We sat in Sunday school class together. She was someone to be with due to her charming personality. T had a soft heart, but no one could walk over her. Her voice was beautiful. Her laughter was catching. I will not be able to wish her happy birthday again. T just gone. I pray that her soul find rest. Goodbye, my dear friend, from Javel. This shouldn't be the reality. Bianca writing this. I wish you were here with us. Your beauty, 
your bliss. I honestly do not know what to say. If only I could go back to that dreadful day. I want to be angry. I want to cry. You were too young. Oh, should you have died? I really don't want to say goodbye. For that would be accepting it. And to me, that is just not nice. But I know this cannot be the end of my childhood friend. So I will talk to you later in my dreams. Until I see you again. Tell Auntie Tracy and the others hi when you meet them at the place where angels go from Bianca. Thanks for those glowing tributes. And now we have early childhood practitioners, teachers. Oh, sorry, the second lesson. Good afternoon, everyone. Verse 50 to 58 from the King James Version. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit it. corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, from the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in corruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass and saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is thy sting O grave where is thy victory <laughs> the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Here in the reading of God's word. Thanks be to God. Amen. And now the teachers. Thank <laughs> you. 
of Jesus. Come on, bless the name. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise in the house. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise in the house. That's the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going home with Jesus in the twinkling of
be so confident that we can say we have our tickets in our back pocket. You know? Well, that is why Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Praise God. We now have further tributes. Firstly, by Mr. Richard Azan, former MD and now caretaker of the Northwest Diana Division. Then, Mrs. Claudette Martin. Thirdly, then, Mr. Stephen Williams. Then, we have two others. So, I hope that I have it in my front pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we should have in our front, front pocket. Reverend Bennett and Reverend Simpson, very family, brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Let me extend my personal sympathy to the bereaved family and to say to you, all who gather here today and those who are watching online, since the passing of Torian, reaches is not reaches again. And today is a signal that this young lady has touched so much life in such a short period of time. And because she was such a rising star in this community, it is for all of us who gather here today to look at ourselves. Those of us who are older than Torian, and those of us in the same age group that think about it, it could be me or it could be you in this casket today. If it was me, if it was you, what would we all be saying today? And I say to especially the young people that this young lady touched so much life. And I know that some of us may criticize. Yes, no matter what happened, some will criticize that watch and where she was going. But listen, with all of what happened, and all the ministers who are here, no matter what happened, in a second, you could call on God for forgiveness. So I don't want anyone to judge her today. She was here with us. She was able to touch many lives. And I want to say, Rev, from the 8th of May, when this young lady life cut short. I can tell you, I don't know who don't say, listen, this was a decent young girl. You can say amen for that. Amen. And it shows that the life that we live will live on with us. I call on all of us today Just to think about it, the short period of time that she followed her mother. It is sad. And to Sister Knight, Sister Knight, I know the pain you must be feeling. But with everything, we must give thanks. And I say to all of us today, let us give thanks for Toria. 
May our soul, soul rest in peace. Thank you.
we spent the last few moments with her and our extended family and bonded. Those memories will be treasured and cherished in our hearts. Today, he is mourning the loss of his partner, his ride or die, his mom, but God knows this. Sleep in peace, Toria. You will forever be in our hearts. Ministers, Minister Dalkit, Minister Luke, other ministers in this congregation, the period family, former member of parliament, Mr. Richard Azan, well wishers, especially youngsters, good afternoon. James 4, verse 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is life, it is even vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanishes away. Torian Elat, Torian, from the womb to her tomb, 22 years. Six months, five days, I know her very well. It was three parent partners, one trim, two psychic. Steve, Kitiana, Tracy. That was a parent B in riches. And I earned driver's license from 18 years old. And all through the night, we were wrong. In every stages of Torian life, she always have high standards. And every stage, every stage, she was always confident, always. And I remember the last thing she said to me is that she was going to graduate and when she graduates, she's going to own and earn her own money. And especially to the youngsters, if you look at the mark she leaves behind, please, her friends, her friends, please, please continue in her pathway in terms of achievements. I know the church family, especially the church family, this death hit the church and also the community. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But prayer warriors, prayer warriors, please, the family, have the family at heart. Especially Miss Knight and Miss Knight. Also, also, the Elliot family and the Martins family. Please have them in your prayers. Thank you very much. I note, Mr. Williams, I think, for a seat, I think you would serve your father's memory if you became a pastor yes. rather than a politician. Yes. Please give God family to that. 
a little while longer and we will be sitting, but they have two more tributes. One from the Percy Junior Hospital, who have been asked by Miss Chin, Shadi McPherson, to pay a tribute. And then after that, we have one from Trisha Platt, which I will read. So, the Percy Junior Posse, Percy Junior Crew. I'm representing. Good afternoon, everyone. I'll just um, like to do this song to encourage the family. You may feel down and feel like God has somehow forgotten that.
God is our rock. He will always, always come through for his children. Let me read this tribute from Trisha Platt, a dear friend of Tori. She, she says, when I got that call Sunday night, everything changed. I, I was come. You have to excuse me, I have to try and speak like a young person. I completely was gonna lose my mind because I was saying, it's not you, Tori, it cannot be. We, we grew up like two peas in a pod. You were like my sister when we visited each other's home. We shared in praise and worship, quizzes, camps, daily vacation by the school. September coming, we were planning and uh, planning and we were planning on getting jobs to teach the nation's children. But your life was taken from you so suddenly. Sorry I'm not there to tell you goodbye. But I love you so much. Continue to sleep in peace, my sister. Love, Trisha. Indeed, all of us do love you. Do love Tori. And it's hard to say goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye. But we continue this memorial service. With an offer to him. Where the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. And the time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather beyond the other shore and the role that's called up yonder, will you be there? That's the million dollar question each one of us will have to answer. Mr. Dion, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saints of all shall gather to the earth, the earth shall show, and the road is called up, and the night be there. Oh, and the road is called up, God, when the road On the bright, on the bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection shall when his chosen one shall gather to the hope beyond the sky, and the road is called of thunder, I may there. When the road is called of God, when the road is called of God. Thank you. 
Seems as if you are blocking someone. 8618 GC, Red Toyota Islands. We now have a selection by the Builder Missionary Church Choir, after which we will have the message by Reverend Stephen Luke Simpson. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Shall we worship God? Praise the Lord. Indeed, God is worthy. Hallelujah. I was trying to get the choir. I want you to help me because you sing already, you know. I didn't expect me to sing again. But God is good all the time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a city for square. Way up in the air. Where sorrow and death are not known. Where the glory bell shines to the ages of time and the beautiful heavenly home. Oh, I can see heaven on the horizon as my time here on earth slips away. This light goes much brighter. My burdens are lighter each time that I need of the pray.
Miss Tracy. Miss Chin. On behalf of the pastors, for the leaders of the Build Up Missionary Church, we offer condolences, Sister Nine, Shadi, and others, to the Elliot's family and the Martin's family. Sincere condolences. We pray indeed that the God of our comfort will strengthen you and comfort you in this difficult time. In Jesus' name. Last week, Saturday, we were here for a funeral service. We are back today for another funeral service. I know pastor would love to see this church fill out every weekend, but not for funeral service. Because enough is enough. So much we can take and no more. But in the midst of life, yes. we are in death. Hallelujah. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and 12, we read verse 9 and 10 of chapter 11. Rejoice, O youth, O young man in your youth, and let your heart cheer, and cheer me in the days of thy youth, and walk the wings of thine heart and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for these things God will bring you into judgment. Therefore, remove sorrow from your heart and put away evil from thy flesh for childhood and youth are vanity. Remember now thy Creator the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge your presence. I pray that you reveal your words to our hearts. Minister, we pray in Jesus' name. It's good to see so many young people at church. It's good to see so many young persons at church. Good to see so many young men at church. And it's just good to see you. Good to see all of us, my colleagues, Reverend Dan Keith, other ministers in the congregation, Kirti Parazan, uh, Ken today, Mr. William, friends in the audience, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God says, Rejoice, young man, young woman, in your youth, and let your heart be merry in the days of their youth. And what the word of God is saying, that when you are young, you must enjoy your youth. Huh? Because too many young people have become adults too quickly. 12 year old, 13 year old are taking on adult responsibility. 13 year old and, and, and no teenager should become a woman sex in your life at this time. Huh? You must be young. You must enjoy the youth. Have fun. See if that's the shame.
2022. It's a sad day. And she was all so pregnant. Double trouble. Young people can't be open our eyes and understand that all oh, the running dog, it don't make any sense in life. It don't make any sense. It look good. And the devil tried to tempt Jesus in with all these things. I will give you, I will give you popularity. I will make you famous. I will make you the thing. I will make you the star. I will make you the center of attraction. If you fall down and worship me, it's a price to pay to be a star for the devil. It's a price to pay to be popular for the devil. But there's coming a day, young people. There's coming a day. I can't tell you where tomorrow is going. That's the sad thing. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you tomorrow is going to be in heaven. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you tomorrow will be in hell. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you. I know we have great begun. Last week, Saturday, I know we have great begun. Because of the life that we have lived. And by the fruits we shall know them. I can't put you into heaven. I can't carry you into heaven. There's only one way, Jesus, and I am the way. The truth and the life. No man can come to the Father but through Jesus Christ. That's the harsh reality. And I see many tears here this afternoon. I did my tears right away when I heard. When I got the call and heard that story, that couldn't believe it. When I saw the video of this young woman on the street side. Rough! Rough! She never deserved that at all. Never deserved that. But church, pay this coming. I can't talk to two. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. Yes. Family. The word of God said, remember now. Yes. So all the rejoicing here, rejoice. Remember now. Yes. Thy creator in the days of thy youth. Yes. May I tell you a short story. There are many older people now who won't get saved and can't get saved. Yes. Why you don't give your life to the Lord? He might be a great power. For the heart has been hardened. And the rough and the conscience sealed. And the heart that we feel is no conviction anymore. So remember, no. No sin. No. around with your life, Stephen. Don't smile with me, Stephen. I love it. All this show you have to talk, Stephen. All you up and down, Stephen. If you're not born again, you're going to hell. Serious, man. I don't want to be tired in our church. I'm not part of the time, all your people. I don't care. Yes, the part nice. Yes, this is only for a time. 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 And the time is getting. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Remember now. Jesus. 
Ask me now what happened. He said some people are going to believe just like that. When God calls time, you know, and you're not here, you're not here. The casket came an hour and a half late. You may hear all the excuses. Police, broke down, this, that. But when time comes, Young people, 
can we hear the love of God saying to you? Then I feel it before young people. You don't deserve that. You deserve a better life. Young people, you deserve a better life. How oh, I hear some young men talk to some girls. And you still go to them because they look so funny. You deserve better than that, young lady. God creep to serve him. You're fearfully and wonderfully mean. And God wants to, 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 to so fix you up. You can have Sister Leela, you can have Sister Jean. Once we used to live a particular life, but the grace of God and the mercies of God snatch up and save us. When you walk the street, nobody cares about the yo. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Come in like this. Yes. And let me hear your I was then, but now I'm a royal priest. I am the king. I am so royal. Hallelujah. Let's get that good word, young ladies. Royalty. You because you're a child in the game. That's the life. Young girls, this is the life God wants for you. Young men, young men. You hear the news in Spanish talk? How much young men got killed? And you know we're getting killed? That's what the devil comes to do. Steal? Kill? This I give a demand of life. Young man, this is what God has to give to you. And I know there are some people out there and some vendors selling the liquor. And some young men are buying the liquor. I am praying this afternoon somehow that the Spirit of God will speak to you. A young man told me a couple of weeks ago, um, you're having a party in a white house couple of um, some time ago, and while he was drawing the spliff and, and, and drinking the red stripe, he made a voice said, Drop it and move. And he looked around and must say in the body. And he began to say, Drop it and move. And he said to him, Friend, let me go. He said, Where are you He said, Why are gone? When he went home, he met God. Right there in his bed. And God saved him and changed his life. But the next day he heard that at the party, the party got shut up. God rescued him. Last story I tell you. Heard about this couple who went to church, boyfriend and girlfriend. When the word was preached, the young man, the spirit of God, convicted the young man. And he got up to move. And the girl said, where are you going? And he said, oh. Spirit of God spoke to him and then he began to move. The girl said, you go up there, say, you're not going to run this again. And he said, oh. The story said that who stayed over and they had the bike and riding home. Going home, the bike crashed. Guess who died? He died. Two weeks later, the girl gave her life to God at his funeral. God loves you this afternoon. It's in the past, irrespective of what you have done, 
is the past. But there is a God who loves you just as you are. God commended his love towards us. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for me. He died for you. You, young lady, you, you. Hear me, God is speaking to you. And you have to give your life to the Lord. God show me you. We're going to pray. Oh, 
Come. Come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For dying on the cross for my sin. 
I confess my sin. And I believe that you will save me. I ask you, God, to cleanse my heart and to make me a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing me. Thank you, Jesus, for answering me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. No more. Hear what the word of God says. As many as receive him, to them, God, not pastor, God give you power to become a child of God. And as of today, if you pray the prayer in faith, believe in God, you are a child of God. Amen? Amen? I, I, I want to share my number because I want to follow people. We don't want to lose that. Um, just take one number. I can order 832 four three five four and we're gonna link you with pastor eight three two four three five four pastor we want to talk with you today might not be convenient we want to talk with you some more in the night amen god bless you god bless you eight three two four three five four god bless you that number again, 832-4354. Add this one to your number, 547-3906. 547-3906. We've had a great time so far, but we still have one more important activity to do. And that is the eulogy. Could we invite Miss Yulet Elliot, Korean's aunt, to come and give the eulogy. was 
unexplainable. She was the baby and was treated like that into adulthood by the mom and family members. During the early years of Torin's life, she attended Reach's basic school, Reach's primary, where she passed her GSAT exam for the school of her ch first choice, Bishop Gibson High School. During high school, she had a great relationship with her teachers and schoolmates. She continued to excel academically and attain eight CXC subjects with the zeal and passion that Tori had, it was not surprising, therefore, to learn that her education journey continued. She went to Knox Community College after high school to pursue her dream of becoming a teacher. Tori was determined to finish college and make her family proud. She, like anyone else, faces challenges, but she never gives up. She preserved, she persevered, and completed a bachelor's degree in primary education. She was looking forward to graduating in November 22 and start her teaching practice. Sadly, her dreams ended when death came and stole her away. Happiness is a gift. Tori had, Tori had a desire for life and chose to be happy. She was pleasant and easygoing and made lifelong friends from a young age. She takes the time to help her friends at best as possible and offers advice when needed. Her best friend, Michaela, could be a test for this. She was brilliant and eager for knowledge. During Tori's pastime, she likes to sing and dance. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he'll not depart from it. Tori's life surely displayed this. Tori was a dedicated and active member of the Beulah Missionary Church. She attended this church since she was born and got baptized at the age of 10 years old. She was a very active participant at Bible school and Sunday school and represented the church very well in youth competitions, singing and dancing to the glory of God. Tourist song and the youth choir and praise team. This is a five minutes reflection of memories of Torian from family members. Shade McPherson, sister. I don't know how to continue my life without my little sister. And putting words together was a painful experience. Tori was a special gift from God. We have done a lot together and our sister's relationship is unbreakable. I admire her love for the church and concern for people. Even though she was the youngest, she was the motivator, inspiration, counselor, and peacemaker. She was determined to be successful and to be ambitious. She was also a loving aunt. I am Tori, I miss you. But I know you're at a better place now. Both come here and I adore you 
and I will cherish your memories for the rest of my life. Romaine Dawkins, brother, I am still trying to come to terms with my little sisters of time passing. Words cannot describe the gap that has been left in my heart. Your memories will go on forever, and I always love you, Tori. Amelia Morris Lloyd, aunt. Tori was the daughter that I never had. She was polite, soft-spoken, humble, and ambitious. She had a willingness to learn new things. Growing up, she liked my profession as a teacher, and this is where her passion for teaching, teaching began. She had an intellectual curiosity for education, and her dream was to be in charge of a classroom to educate young minds. It was her mom's dream to become a teacher. Likewise, story, her mom never got to finish college. Tori was adamant about finishing college and making her mother proud even after death. I never forget how happy she was when she called me in April 22 and said, Auntie, your niece is now a trained teacher. I am finished studying. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for your encouraging words. We both screamed with excitement and begun preparations. I am glad I had the opportunity to be her mentor. Her mother, SMS messages, and heart symbols will always be remembered in my heart. Tori was determined to finish college. Tori and I had a raw night, dodo uncle. Tori and I had a special connection because we were both born in November and shared the same Scorpio sign. Tori was a bright, reserved, and a durable young lady. She loves her church and loves to sing. I fondly remembered when Tor was a baby. I used to take her to daily vacation Bible school during the summer. The young ladies at the church would come to me and play with this pretty baby. I was living the moment as a celebrity because Tori made me the center of attraction. I also remembered Tori's beautiful voice when she sang at my wedding. Three years ago, her bright smile and big hugs will always remain in my heart. Mrs. Knight, grandmother, my heart broke when I heard that Tori had been in an accident. Half an hour later, my heart cried out when she was pronounced dead. My first word was, poor little Tori. Tori was a unique granddaughter. She was modest, well-mannered, full of energy and determination. She was a peacemaker who was devoted to her faith and enjoyed singing. When she finished her degree program, I was extremely proud of her. Grandma, I can't wait to start my teaching practice, she shouted, her voice overflowing with anticipation. Now, her dreams are ruined. Death has stolen Tori's dreams away. Tori's memories will fill my heart with joy and serve as a day reminder that God is still in control. Ronald Martin's special friend, Tori always put people's need before her own. She was my biggest motivator and always made the most of bad situations. 
She had a significant impact in people's lives and a strong desire for others, success as well as her own. She's got fearing and continuously encourages others to draw closer to God. On May 8, 2022, at approximately 7.30 p.m., Torian traveled with her friend along the Winston Jones Highway when the car lost control and crashed. She was taken to the Maniville Hospital with multiple injuries. She and her unborn baby boy were confirmed dead. She has left behind her father, Claude Elliott, sister Shadema Person, brother Romaine Darkins, niece Kaymaya, yeah. Grandmothers, grandfathers, uncles, aunts, cousins, dear friend Ronald, schoolmates, other relatives and friends. Sleep in peace, Torian, Abigail, Elliot. The angels in heaven are singing your determination and cheerful spirit will be permanently engraved in our hearts. I close with this verse, 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind and live in peace and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Toria, Abigail, Elliot, Yoology has been read. Yoology was written by Sophia Williams. Thank you. Before we have the prayer for the family, could we all stand and maintain a minute silence in memory of Toria? Could the family of Tori and sit while the rest of us stand? Just the family of Tori and Father God most glorious, you are the creator of all mankind. In you we live, move, and have our being. Our days are numbered. You determine our beginning and our end. So all honor and praise to you. We thank you for the privilege of life. God, God, we understand and we share in the grief of the family. Tori has left us at a young age, full of potential and possibility. But Lord, we know why you took her this early. We understand that some go early, some go late. But we all must go. We thank you for her life. We ask you to comfort the family. Bring peace to their heart. Bring peace to their souls. Comfort them with the comfort of God so that they will be able to make it through these difficult years. And at the end, they'll be able to say, even as 
as Job says, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord because you do all things well. Indeed, nothing can separate us from the love of God. And we know even now, she is basking and enjoying your love. Even to this day. We give you thanks. Comfort them, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remain standing for the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. As we sing the closing hymn, we will have a viewing of the body. We will start from my right, usher past. So this side will go first then the middle and then my left we will usher and take your seats come back to your seats because the rain is falling and we can't go anywhere until it cools down so those on my right could you just file forward first row by row and then go back to your seats to Canaan's land, I'm where the soul never
for Tori and Elian. Here we are now. Everything's about to change. We'll face tomorrow as we say goodbye to yesterday. A chapter ending, but the story's only just begun. The page is turning for everyone. So I'm moving now. I'm letting go. I'm holding on. Sorry.
in a row at home and ensure that the body goes down and then we can just put her right away in the in the tomb and close it up. Okay. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Yes. Hello. Hi friends, come with us. Hello. Come with us. This is talking for a while, please. I'm going to be here on the steps here. I'm going to go to the middle here. I'm going to be very hard. I'm going to be able to stop for a minute. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Let's be the name of the Lord. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never dare die. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to receive unto himself the soul of our dear sister, our daughter, Dorian Abigail Elliot. We dear Torian Abigail Elliot, dear departed. We therefore commit her body to the ground, the earth to earth, at this to ashes, dust to dust. With the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our earthly body, that it may be like unto his glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. So Almighty God, who by the death of thy dear son Jesus Christ has, a, has destroyed death, by his rest in the tomb has sanctified the graves of the saints, and by his glorious resurrection has brought life and immortality to life, receive our heartfelt thanks for the life of Torian and for the victory over death and the grave which he has obtained for us and for all who sleep in him. Keep us in everlasting fellowship with all those who wait on thee on earth and with all those who are around thy heavenly throne in union with him who is the resurrection and the life, who lives and reigns with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. So the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. We will, we will go through the side door, so if those miss the passage, we will just move the benches to the side. Just a minute, we'll we we'll push it down there. Thank you. 
Yo, yo, um, go to church. Go to church. Now to church. Go to church. My chest is going to go big. Mm. Oh, all right. Oh man, this is my phone. This is my phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, Right. We're not far enough to do the things easy. Come on, 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 come on
to try But there's no end of sorrow There's no hope by and by But I know God is with me I'm going to go old school for that one, yeah. Hey, ooh, 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 hey. Oh, all of my prima life things were gotten to me. My free life will add any possibility. Wonder if you're going to day, I got to watch the lead. Or if I hate me, you they like a pasta, teach me. Reminisce when you tell me, step in a life you'll be. I know me think about it every day and night you see The more that things me prefer to, the more I like me free Especially when me see you the bigger S3 tweet From Jamaica, you to Washington DC Me tell a story all about you wouldn't believe me Me screw my face for the pain but it's not easy Me have to cry a lot of tears cause you just with me Me wonder if you look the same way do will I see Me not ready for that, me not sure when I'll be You can't predict like things as a pain I see Me love you, me see Every you step I by day But why the good die young, when them not do die wrong The more that wicked people me know, we live life long But nothing no reach them, not even flew my son Ya know my friend from my family, me a tell her to God How I did bad and to the good and the good to the bad And see they know me lose a brother, so tragic and sad There was a good friend to me, one of the best ever had From Jamaica yet to Washington DC Me tell a story all about you wouldn't believe me Me screw my face for the pain but it's not easy Me have to cry a lot of tears cause you just grieve me Me wonder if you look the same way will I see Me not ready for that, me not sure when I'll be Yeah, I'm pretty clear things as a pain I see My love you miss me Every step I can Time 
my prey me see Now go go old school for that one yeah hey. It's 
soon be done with trouble. Say, when I get home on the other side. Um, 
Did you say boy, boy, and I see you? The baby, you always do What a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer than the lily that goes by the wayside. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweet Jesus. What a wonder you are, you are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer than the lily that goes by the wayside. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweet Jesus, me yet he'll never fail me yet. Jesus Christ never, never failed me yet. Oh, Everywhere I go, I want the world to know. Jesus Christ never fails me yet. He never fails me yet. He never fails me yet. Jesus Christ never fails me yet. Oh, everywhere I go, I want the world to know Jesus Christ never fails me yet. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest.
This song is for the broken hearted. I know God can fix it. The times of time bring out the news. Another day is through. Someone slipped and fell.